Yes, so the talk on difference was really interesting one and it yeah. made the point clear that what is the difference between the difference, difference, yeah. uh, the audible and the written form written of the word. Mm -hmm. uh, while reading 5.4, structure, sign and play, uh, I got struck at this sentence. I quote, language bears within itself the necessity of its own critic, I unquote. Yeah. What exactly Derrida wanted to convey by this? Right. It's a, a very fascinating statement and that sums up what actually deconstruction is all about. Mm -hmm. And uh, the essay that we are discussing here, Structure, Sign and Play, is one of the very important documents of uh, contemporary literary theory as it inaugurates what is known as post-structuralism in 1967. Uh, by post-structuralism, uh, we mean not outright rejection or criticism of structuralism, but going beyond by critiquing structuralism. So the essay be is actually a critique of uh, Levi-Strauss, uh, and uh, who, a very famous anthropologist who made structuralism very popular. Uh, the statement that you say that the language bears within itself necessity of, of its own critique actually sums up the inquiry of deconstruction. Mm -hmm. uh, what he implies here is that structuralism, when it began, it began as a criticism or attack on metaphysics on one hand and science on another. Okay. Science was a predominant way of getting knowledge in the West. Structuralism began as a critique of the assumptions of science as well as metaphysics. Mm -hmm. right. But what Derrida is questioning that how come then that Lévi-Strauss is using the same assumptions that you find in metaphysics and science mm -hmm. in his own practice of structuralism. So what seems to be happening that on one hand structuralism is a criticism of science and metaphysics, on the other hand it uses the same assumptions. Mm -hmm. And he talks about similar cases that have happened in the past. For example, how Nietzsche mm -hmm. criticizes uh, the earlier tradition of Western philosophy. And then Heidegger says that Nietzsche is the last uh, metaphysician. Mm -hmm. right? And then how Derrida actually critiques Heidegger saying that Heidegger is the last metaphysician. So what is happening is uh, the criticism that is being levied against tradition mm -hmm. uses the same assumption that tradition is using. So what ha happens is that criticism can never go outside of tradition. Mm -hmm. It has to work within the inherited legacy of that tradition. Mm -hmm. so, and that happens because, Derrida says, it's because of the language. Okay. Because uh, language contains all the assumptions coded into it. Okay. And as we saw in our discussion on difference, that the ultimate final meaning can never be grasped. Mm -hmm. It can only be promised and deferred. So what happens that whenever you make a philosophical statement, mm -hmm. the ultimate meaning is already postponed. It's never there for you to take. Mm -hmm. So what happens that difference makes uh, ultimate interpretation or finality impossible. Mm -hmm. So what happens that when uh, a philosopher sets out to critique another system, he is using the same language. And when you are using the same language, you are using the same ideas and assumptions. And that is why he says that uh, structuralism falls prey mm -hmm. to what it wants to prey upon, okay. that is science and metaphysics. So similar case you might think of, say for example in Buddhism, mm -hmm. which sets out as a critique of Vedanta, uh -huh. right? actually ends up sounding more like Vedanta. Okay. <laughs> right? So whenever you start critiquing something, you start resembling that thing mm -hmm. which you set out to attack. Okay. And why this happens according to Derrida is because of the language. Okay. Because in language there is always this lack. Mm -hmm. Because the ultimate meaning is always deferred, postponed. You can never catch that final meaning. Mm -hmm. And uh, because there is this uh, something missing always in language, mm -hmm. the language demands critique. Sure. So any philosophical statement will always contain a blind spot mm -hmm. which asks for a criticism. And that applies as much to deconstruction also. So deconstruction also falls prey to metaphysics, as Derrida says. And that's why deconstructive writing are most of the time autocritical. Mm -hmm. It questions itself ongoingly. Because uh, when you question Western tradition, you are also questioning yourself. Mm -hmm. 
so it's self critic auto critic that it happens so that is what the term in the yeah, statement, statement implies implies okay thank you yeah. thank, thank you for explaining thank you thank you